Scientists invent first vagina on a chip. The first vagina on a chip replicates the cellular environment of the vagina. Scientists have developed the world's first vagina on a chip, a small device that contains live human cells and replicates the cellular environment found inside the vagina canal. By adding bacteria to the device, aptly named the vagina chip, researchers can study how different microbes affect the health of the vagina. The team reported in a study published November 26 in the journal Microbiome. They can also test how different drugs and probiotics change the composition of the vagina microbiome, the community of microorganisms living within the canal. Gautam Mahajan, a former researcher at Harvard University with Institute for Biological Inspired Engineering, who now works at an organ on a chip company, Emulate Inc. in Boston, stated that the vaginal microbiome plays an important role in regulating vaginal health and disease and has a major impact on prenatal health. And he also stated our human vagina chip offers an attractive solution to study host microbiome interactions and accelerate the development of potential probiotic treatments, which work by introducing beneficial bacteria into the vagina. The vagina chip measures only one inch, 2.5 centimeters long, and contains donated cells from two women. The cells were collected from the lining of the vagina and from the connective tissue that runs beneath the lining. These two types of cells sit on either side of a permeable membrane, which replicates the 3D structure of the vaginal wall. Scientists allow these cells to multiply for five days in the device before adding the sex hormone estradiol, a form of estrogen. The hormone change which cells were switched on in the tissues and triggered the production of mucus as would occur in a vivo. Now, if you don't know what a vivo is, that's like a virtual lab. It's a virtual lab where they gather a bunch of organisms in a petri dish and allow them to develop. With their device complete, the team ran several tests with bacteria commonly found in the vagina, namely several strands of lactobacillus bacteria. Studies suggest that these microbes make up more than 70% of a healthy vagina microbiome, according to the WIS Institute statement. The researchers found that lactobacillus bacteria successfully produce lactic acid, in the vagina chip, thus driving down the PhD of tissue inside. A healthy vagina typically has a PhD of 4.5 or less, meaning it's acidic, and this acidity helps prevent the growth of harmful bacteria that could cause diseases. In addition, adding to lactobacillus bacteria, reducing the number of inflammatory molecules circulating in the tissue. Having run experiments with good bacteria, the team did the same thing with bad bacteria, meaning bugs associated with bacteria vaginosis, BV, a common vaginal infection caused by the overgrowth of specific bacteria. These bugs include Gardnerella vaginalis, Prevotella bivia, and Apopobium vagina, and when introduced into the vagina chip, all three bacteria cause the pH of the device to rise, along with the number of inflammatory molecules and damaged vagina cells. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC). BV increases the risk of sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, both of which can negatively affect future fertility by triggering a harmful inflammation. Achinode nore, 
of St. George, University of London, who was not involved with the study told by Scientific America, stated that if developed during pregnancy, BV also rises the risk that the baby will be born prematurely or at a low birth weight. The new vagina on a chip could help scientists develop new and better treatments for BV. Now, they also stated that this is an opportunity to bring women's health into modern times using modern technology. He also stated that the chip offers an advantage over testing therapies in lab animals like mice whose vaginal microbiomes greatly differ from humans. In addition, it's historically been difficult for drugs developers to recruit human patients for BV treatment trials, partially due to patients concerned over safety. That said, organ on a chip technology does have its limitations, so it cannot perfectly capture all the factors that influence the human vaginal microbiome, but the vagina on a chip or the but the vagina chip is a good first step towards future research. So let me know what you think about this article here. Is this a good move? This will help uh, modernize modernized women's health. I believe so. I will play a video also that explains a little more. And until next time, you all stay safe and I'll talk to you soon. And for a side note, I do appreciate everyone that is giving me a few seconds of their time.